I went to Hobby Lobby today for really no reason other than to get out of the house for a little bit because I haven't been to a store in months. Uh, quarantine has made me, oh darn, have to uh, shop online, but I needed to go and actually touch some yarn. So I went to Hobby Lobby today and I found that there's actually quite a bit of stuff on clearance. I figured all the clearance stuff was long gone. so. Or, I had to put my pink glasses on, go with my pink shirt, of uh, the Yarn Bee Sweet Shades. This is espresso one. I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet, but I will make something really awesome out of this one. It's super thick. It's a, this has got to be at least a five. Oh, that's funny. They're just telling me. Knitting needles. They don't think I can crochet with this? Of course I can. It's going to be my big hook. For that one but I'm gonna find something fun like a squishy hat or a kitty bed or something but I got four of them and they were only a dollar 24 a piece and they're normally five bucks so that was a score I got all of this for the price of one like two weeks ago so yay me and of the same thing the sweet shades and I don't even know what this is this is so beautiful the color name is Regency Era. Okay, that doesn't mean anything, but it's really pretty. It looks like a harvesty fall kind of colors with purples and golds and, and army green. I have three of those. I'm gonna find some fun project and you'll see it someday. It'll be great. So I got three of those. Again, $1.24 a piece. All three of these was less than one was a month. So I can't. I found these. I'm no, not normally a person for making something that's very specifically Christmas or any holiday thing, but I couldn't resist these stripes. They were on clearance. Oh, this is going to be the cutest, probably the cutest little scarf because I only got three. That's all I got. Every, I bought everything they had. Again, a dollar twenty-four for the yarn bee stripe. It stripe it. Yarn B Stripe It. It just says red and white, so the name is what it is. Feels a little bit like Scarfy that everybody knows that product. So I think I'm gonna have fun making something cute with that. So I got three of those for, again, less than one would have cost a month ago. I'm so lucky. And I found these. The last two of that color and last two of this, this color. They're the same product. These are all Yarn Be Astounding. I've never used this one before. I'm really excited. It's like a, like a tube almost. I've never used this product before, but it's normally $7. So maybe that's why, because I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. Um, they're normally $7 a piece. They were on clearance for $1.74. We have two ivories and two, surprise, light pink. So I have two ivories and two light pinks. And I love this little tube thing it's got going on here. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with it. They want me to use a 10 millimeter hook. Well, that'll work. It's really soft. It feels like, feels like the squishiest scarf or the squishiest pair of mittens you've ever had so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do maybe I could make a mitten out of each one of them that would be super fun too so you can see that later see what I come up with but again clearance all four of these for the price of one super cool I love clearance stuff this is awesome and this was my favorite find of the day one two Three, four, we have four of the showstoppers, and what was it, coffee, what is this one again? Sandpiper Shores. So it's got a little bit, I don't have none of, neither, none of the four are open yet, but you, could, you can see, I'm going to open it anyway. Like, It's the super crazy, roving, 
very, very delicate. There's the starting ink, it's so hard to do. This one is normally $10 for this roll, or for this whole skein, $10. The Yarn Bee Showstopper. And I got four of them today for the price of one, because they were on clearance for $2.50. I'm gonna make a tiny throw out of this. It's gonna take some more, because you have to be so gentle. And this is what this one was going to be done uh, by hand, no hook. But I will hand crochet this. So that will be a really fun, a really fun video. Um, I'm excited to do that one. So soon you're going to get to see this turned into a cute little fro. But in case nobody knows what this roving looks like, it looks like a cotton ball, and it's really delicate. I haven't worked with this in a while. So it's going to be super fun to give that a try. But I got four for the price of one. I can actually make something out of that. I'm excited. And then for the stuff that I just couldn't resist, that was, um, I couldn't resist the uh, things that weren't on clearance. I just love this color. The Yarn Bee, soft and sleek. This color was just too gorgeous. I couldn't help myself. It was just mauve. I said I could call it mauve, but this is really the prettiest mauve I've seen in ages. This one tells me to use a six millimeter hook. I don't think that I would need one that that's quite that page for this. Personally, I would use a five or a five and a half millimeter, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I just love this color. I'm gonna see how, how I like working with it because I've never worked with this product before. So if I love it, we'll go get a whole bunch more and make something really huge out of it because this color is fantastic. And then what else did I find? And then this one is just too cute. And oh, all the little, the little bun. I love the little bun. This one is Arabella, and I got the beautiful berry. But this is my favorite. Look at that. It's not even gradient. It's, it has the white and the berry color are both there in the entire strand. It's not a gradient, so. Everything's going to be there all the time. It's super soft. Tell me that I'm supposed to use a six and a half millimeter hook on this one. That might, that might be actually pretty close on this one. Because it is fluffy, but in some spots it's skinnier. So I get one at a time just so that I can see how I like working with it and see how the pattern um, how the design shows itself after I crochet a few crow, a few rows. If I make a few rows of this and see that I like how it's laying out, then I will buy more. If I don't really like the way that it's um, flowing, then I would have to go, well, maybe I don't like this one so much. That's why I buy one at a time when I'm finding something new, just so I don't have to be committed to finding a project for this 15 skeins that I just bought. So I get one at a time when I pay full price. And the rest of them are all, I love this yarn. Because I love this yarn. It's the best name ever. I probably would have named it. They probably heard me say that once at a store. And say, I love this yarn. I said, well, we should call it that because this is one of my favorite yarns. And it's just so fun. And I just got some random colors today just to try them and to see how they're going to crochet up. And I believe that all of these will be the same, a five and a half millimeter. Yep, five and a half millimeter, so they're about, a, they're a four medium. They're the typical of a, of the Red Heart or the Simply, Simply Soft from Caron or any of those things. And this is so soft. I just love, I love this yarn. That's what they call it that. So this one is, Surprise stripe, but it's pink and gray and black. And it's like some of my favorite stuff kind of goes with what I'm wearing and my glasses. So I'm really excited about that because I like almost everything pink. You probably have seen that a little bit here. But so this is that's uh, this one is surprise stripe. I'm gonna make something super fun out of that. Give it a try. I like to make baby booties and tiny things. So we're gonna have some fun with that. I will make something out of this and you will see it soon. 
So another I Love This Yarn, same, five and a half millimeter. And then this one is called Parcel and Bow. Aw, what a cute name. Oh, that's a cute name. It's a really light pastel rainbow. Just cute. So that'll make something cute for a baby for sure. This one, again, I love this yarn. Belladonna. I found something earlier. It was exactly the same color tone. It's like a, a, a pinks and grays and a little splash of kind of a limey green in there. And I found it something in something else earlier. And then I found this one and like, well, I don't want two that are the same color scheme. So I settled on this one because I know I love it. Belladonna. So pretty. I'm gonna set that one down. And this was the first one that I saw. I couldn't help myself. It's called Crush Raspberry. It's just a really light white with a light pink tint, maybe. And it's got little pink polka dots and maybe a little bit of splash of gray in there. Oh, I just couldn't resist. It's so cute. I hope this one crochets up the way I want it to because I want to make something really big out of this. It's just so cute. So again, I love this yarn. Five and a half millimeter. Yay. And this one. Fun. Jazz Stripe. Ooh, I'm really interested in seeing what Jazz Stripe looks like when I make a nice little swatch out of it. Ooh, some fun colors. They're all earthy tones, so very autumn-y. There's some really deep purple and dark reds. And then there's some light yellows in here. This is going to be super fun. It looks very autumn. So make something fun out of that. I always do. And this one, another, I love this yarn, is, color name is Mint Tea. This one is a lot of different shades, just almost speckled, I would think, when it's crocheted up. It's almost going to be speckled of different shades of uh, kind of a dusty green. I really like this one. So I'm interested to see what these are going to be. So I might just uh, do a bunch of swatches just to see how much I love them. But yeah, see, they're gorgeous. Yeah, just a whole bunch of shades of green. I love that. This one was interesting. I have never even seen this one before. I'm not sure if I've missed it along the way because it's a green camel stripe. I should have seen this along the way somewhere in being at a Hobby Lobby because I love Hobby Lobby and I love this yarn. But I don't remember ever seeing this one before, so maybe it's a new camel called Green Camel Stripe, but it has different colors in it that I'm really not, I'm not remembering, so I don't know. It's gonna be super fun. And I think that was my last one. So you can see my big, I had to put them in my basket because I didn't know what else to do with them, but I've got my big basket of goodness that I absolutely did not need. I just needed to get out of the house because I've been quarantined for quite some time and I haven't gotten to go and hug my yarn. So today, I'm gonna hug my yarn day. I love it. I'm so excited. I got to actually go to a store and touch yarn instead of ordering it online and waiting for it to come, which is super fun, but this was so, fun to actually go to a store. <sighs> I'm so excited. So I'm going to put a, put a whole bunch of patterns together, see what we can come up with to do with all these cute new things. Again, I get one at a time just to see what happens when I crochet them up. So I'm going to make swatches of each one of these and see what I, what I think. And I'll probably share them with all you. <sighs> crochet and Chardonnay. Have a nice day. Bye.